There's a special type of sleep apnea that 30% of people have. They have no idea they have it because this is not as simple as central versus obstructive sleep apnea. This is a subtype of obstructive sleep apnea known as REM related sleep apnea. So here's what it is and what you can consider to talk to your doctor about. So number one, REM related sleep apnea is when you have most of your apnea episodes during REM sleep. A sign you should consider this is if you are waking up a bajillion times a night. Yes, it's a technical term, but honestly, like if you're waking up five, 10 times per night, you want to consider this. There's two easy ways to tell it based on data you may have available. So if you have your sleep study and you notice that there is more than a two to one ratio of REM apnea episodes to non-REM sleep apneas, this is probably going on. If you have a tracker, this is a little bit easier. If you look at your oxygen levels, you'll see this very simply you'll have these clusters of big drops, and these clusters are happening more during REM sleep. So what happens with REM-related sleep apnea is key to addressing it. So during REM sleep, you have basically muscle paralysis. Your muscles get floppy, such as the ones in your airway. So what do you think might be a good thing to address is strengthening the muscle tone so that when things get floppy, they're not too, too floppy. Again, this will depend on your unique needs, but whether that's strengthening your tongue, your lips, things like that, you want to strengthen these muscles so that you have less floppiness when things get floppy during REM. Now for help with that, getting custom breathing exercises and custom airway muscle exercises, that's what we have in our program. So if you want to click this red button to check it out or uh, click the shop button here or go to the website or my face, whatever floats your boat.